Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. We're in the international break right now, which means there's a lot of international games going on. In this video, I'll be discussing and reviewing the match between Germany's women's national team and Portugal's women's national team. Getting to this a little late because I was pretty busy yesterday and I was also trying to, or I was covering the U.S. Women's National Team match with Uzbekistan. So I'm just kind of getting to this today or tonight. <laughs> anyway, Germany played Portugal in an away match last year in 1-3-1, and now Germany will be meeting Portugal for a home game. So Germany, <laughs> about the Arnold Clark Cup. Germany had a rough time during the Arnold Clark Cup drawing with Spain and losing to Canada and England. Not only that, Germany had a lot of missing players due to injuries and due to COVID. Leave it, leading up to the Arnold Clark Cup, Germany hadn't been challenged for most of last year, and questions were raised after the tournament about whether they'll be ready in time for the Women's Euros this year. After seeing their performance in the Arnold Clark Cup, there is a lot that needs to be worked on if Germany wants to be successful successful in the Euros. And personally, and it really hurts me to say this because I honestly love the German team and I like a lot of their players, but I don't know if Germany will be ready in time for the Euros. I came across an article that was in German that was asking what is the team's identity. And that is something Martina Vosteklingberg and the team are needing to think about ahead of the Euros. Is Germany an attacking team, a defending team, or are they just a balanced team? What is Germany, basically? Um, yeah, Germany has a lot of talented and amazing players, like so many talented and amazing players, that it can go either way. They can be an attacking team, they can be a defending team, or they can just have a very balanced defense, midfield, and attack. As for this match against Portugal, I and most people are predicting that Germany is going to win this match. Germany is most likely going to hold and maintain possession for the entirety of the match and are going to be on the attack. Maybe and hopefully Portugal will put the German team under pressure because that is something that the German team that is something that the German team team needs to improve. Germany is so bad at playing under pressure and that was revealed in the matches against Spain and England. It was something that I was worried about and had mentioned in videos covering the Germany matches last year. I think even Sarah de Britz, after the Spain match, had said something along the lines of they needed to work on playing under pressure because they weren't used to it. That all being said, let's get into the lineup for this match. Okay, the lineup. 4-3-3, Merle Fromms in the goal. For defenders, Katherine Heinrich, Jana Feldkamp, Lena Oberdorf, Oberdorf, and Felicius Rausch. Then for midfield, Lena Magel, Tavia Vasmuth, and Jennifer Marojan. And for forwards, Clara Buhl, Julia Gwynn, and Svenja Huth. I got a little confused with the play at first because Gwynn is listed as a defender, so I thought Martina Vosteklingberg was going to was going for a more defensive style play for this match with an extra defender. Still useful to have that extra defender or a defensive midfielder just in case things start to get dangerous in the box. Great that Gwyn can play as a forward and defender. I usually love those types of players. Very flexible, great to have on the team. Defense looks strong. Midfield and attack looks good as well. Strong goal scoring potential with Magul, Vasmuth, Bull, and Huth. Would like would like to see Vasmuth get a goal in this match. She's been doing really well with Wolfsburg. Magul and Bull doing great with Bayern as well. And Maro goals always appreciated. Hopefully we'll see Alexandra Pop in the second half. Anyway, it's game time, so let's get into the first half. All right, the first half, we are off. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is the new Germany shirts look pretty good. So Germany got some new kits. Um, I didn't like them at first when I first saw them, but seeing it on the players, I like it. Beats the U.S. Women's National Team away kit. 
Anyway, it's hailing in Germany right now. One minute in, Magul attempt from distance caught by the keeper. Huth crosses, keeper pushed it away, Vosmut puts it wide. Three minutes, Magul fouled. Germany free kick outside the Portugal box, Rausch takes it, plays it short to Bull. Bull attempt blocked. Some good passing by Germany. Six minutes, Huth crosses to Magul, Magul header attempt saved. Seven minutes, Portugal foul, Germany free kick outside the box, cleared. Portugal making a run, Rausch quick to cut it off. Eight minutes, Portugal Portugal again making a run with the ball goes out of play. Nine minutes, Huth stepped on, Germany ball, Portugal wins the ball back. Eleven minutes, Portugal almost making an attempt but cut off. Twelve minutes, Portugal attempt saved by Proms. Thirteen minutes, ball played up for Huth, or I mean played through for Huth, can't reach it, or she can't reach it. 14 minutes, Bull with the ball, running, making a run, Vosmuth offsides. 15 minutes, Gwyn crosses, nothing from it. Gwyn cross kicked away, Germany corner kick, nothing from it. 16 minutes, Germany corner, Maro takes it, headed away. Maro sends it in again, Huth taps it to Vosmuth, Vosmuth sends it over. 17 minutes, Vosmuth offsides, I guess. Not sure why the ref blew the whistle there. 18 minutes, Huth crosses, kicked away. Maro mispasses to Huth. 20 minutes, Germany corner kick, played to Bull. Bull attempt goes over. Is regnant, or is it hailing, <laughs> or is it still hailing? I don't know. The weather is, from the camera, it's like the weather doesn't look too good. <laughs> 21 minutes, Vosmut to Bull. Bull attempt goes wide. Finishing. My god, everyone needs to work on finishing. 22 minutes, Germany fouls Portugal free kick. 24 minutes, Maro crosses, kicked away. 25 minutes, Huth cross, cleared. Germany corner kick, nothing from it. Portugal making a run, Bull on it. Yellow card for Portugal, Silva for pulling Bull. 27 minutes, Germany corner kick, nothing from it. Rush attempt goes wide. Um, yeah, at some point I said that I wish Maro would take the shot. She had it like outside the box and I think she was I thought she was clear enough but she just ended up passing it to someone 30th minute Huth crosses no one got their head on it somehow no one got their head on it just went over I think Bull and Vosmuth who were in the box yeah went over everyone and it was cleared 32 minutes Maro crosses no one on that either Rausch fouled Germany ball Germany attempt blocked Portugal makes a run. Defenders really need to get back there and defend. Germany able to win it back in the end. 35 minutes, ball played up for Magul. Keeper gets to it first. 36 minutes, Portugal foul. Germany ball. Ball played up for Magul. Magul crosses, no one there. Huth crosses, defended away. Maro temp goes over. 38 minute, Vosmuth crosses, kicked away. 39 minutes, Germany corner kick. Oberdorf finally heads it in. Germany 1-0. Great, now let's get more goals. 40th minute, Magul crosses, Vosmuth attempt blocked. 43 minutes, Germany doing great at winning back possession. Portugal player down, trainers coming out to check on her. 45 minutes, game starts up again, two minutes of added time. 46 minutes, Germany foul, Portugal free kick, punched away by Fromms. Still in the Germany box, but eventually it's cleared. Then whistle blown soon after, first half ends, Germany 1-0. Okay, it's good that Germany has the lead, but something just seems different about them. Something is just off, is probably the best word I could use to describe it. Finishing needs a lot of work. They definitely need to be more patient on the ball and more patient with their shots from distance. I just wasn't all that impressed in this first half. Yes, they had possession. Yes, they were attacking the goal. Yes, they were regaining possession, but where was the accuracy, accuracy, patience, and precision like before? Communication was off, cohesion was off, touches were off, passing was still okay. Defending was pretty good. I was getting a sense that the German team was trying to rush and move fast, and that could have been getting in the way of the accuracy and patience that the German team usually has. Like, you guys already have possession. You control the pace of the game. Or you can control the pace of the game because you have the possession. 
Like you can slow things down and take your time to set things up. Moving fast is kind of pointless if you're if you and your teammates are not going to be on the same page. Also, I want to see more aggression from the German team when they lose possession. Like fight to get it back early on. Don't let Portugal run it back to your goal. That was something that really frustrated me with Germany in the match against Spain. The lack of pressure on Spain after Germany lost possession was frustrating. Anyway, let's get into the second half. Maybe we'll see some more goals from Germany. Maybe we'll see Alexandra pop. Okay, second half, we are off. 45 minutes, Hoof sends it in. Magul header, keeper smacks it away. Keeper smacks it away. 46 minutes, Germany corner kick goes out of play. 47 minutes, Portugal counterattack cut off. No foul for holding Magul. Really? Germany struggling to regain possession outside of their penalty area. 48 minutes, Portugal foul for a late challenge on Magul. Germany free kick. Germany again struggling to get it out of their penalty area as Portugal puts pressure on them. 49 minutes, Portugal offsides. Germany ball. 51 minutes, ball crossed into the Portugal box. What was that cross? Like, it didn't even go into the box. It just went right to one of the Portugal players. Ball sent up for Vosmuth. Too much behind it goes to the keeper. Portugal counterattack. Where are the German defenders? 52 minutes, yellow card for Lena Magel for an accidental high boot to the head. Portugal free kick. A good tackle by Mario. 54 minutes, Magul crosses, but the ball went out of play anyway. Oh, looks like Alexandra Pop is prepping to come on. 55 minutes, Gwyn crosses. Clara Bull puts it in. Germany 2-0. 56 minutes, ball stolen off of Rausch, then crossed into the Germany box, kicked away. 57 minutes, Bull crosses, uh, goes wide. 58 minutes, Germany substitution. Mario out. Pop in. Pop gets the captain, the captain's armband from Svenja Huth. Good to see Pop back. <laughs> 59 minutes. Ball stolen off of Roush again. What is what is up with that? Like usually, Phil, uh, Philly Roush is such a good defender. <laughs> 60th minute. Portugal foul on Gwyn. Shove from behind. Germany ball. 61 minutes. Pop tries to play it up to Vosmuth. Close, but Vosmuth can't reach it, goes to the keeper. Then afterwards, Pop and I think Huth fighting a Portugal player for the ball. The announcer said Pop comes away with it. More like Svenja Huth comes away with it and Pop almost trips over said Portugal player. <laughs> I forgot how, entertain how entertaining Alexandra Pop is during games. 62 minutes, Huth tries to feed it up for her teammate but they weren't on the same page. Ball played into the Portugal box, picked up by the keeper. 63 minutes, Portugal makes a run, dangerous in the Germany box, back crosses, cleared by Germany. Should, I mean, to that Portugal player, should have taken should have taken the shot instead of waiting. Here comes Portugal, Portugal again, plays it up, but no one there to get on it. 64 minutes, Vosmuth crosses, blocked. 65 minutes, Bull crosses to Vosmuth. Vosmuth surrounded, tries to leave it for Bull, but Bull is offsides. I'm what I'm kind of wondering why Germany keeps playing it back instead of sending players forward. 66 minutes, Magul loses possession. 67 minutes, Portugal. Gomez yellow card for tripping Magul. Germany player is down, but play continues. I didn't see which one it was. Eventually, Oberdorf gets the ball back after after Germany loses possession. 68 minutes, ball played up for Huth. Can't reach it. Defenders in the way. 69 minutes, Germany substitutions. Vosmuth and Bull out. Freigen and Yuli Brand in. 70th minute, Pop plays it up to Brand. Can't reach it. Rausch crosses, kicked away. Gwyn attempt goes wide. 72 minutes, ball played into the Portugal box. Kicked away. 73 minutes, Freigen cross. Can't reach Brand. Ball sent into the Portugal box, headed away. Ball sent into the Germany box, kicked away by Fromms. 74 minutes, Germany defense struggling to get the ball away. 
Portugal getting around German defenders. Yeah, defense needs some work. Freigen making a run, takes a shot, keeper saves. 75 minutes, Germany corner kick, nothing from it. Ball sent into the Portugal box, caught by the keeper. 77 minutes, Gwyn fouls, Portugal ball. What is going on with the defense? It's like Germany's defenders are letting them through. 78 minutes, Portugal corner kick, nothing from it. Ball goes out of play. 79 minutes, frag into Brand. Brand can't get to it. Ball kicked out. Huth crosses and Rausch taps it in. Germany, 3-0. 82 minutes, Portugal pressing high. Pop foul, Germany ball. Rough tack. Yeah, that was a rough tackle on Pop. Glad she's okay. Um, Germany defense starting to get physical. Good, but chaotic at the same time. <laughs> Portugal player goes down and all that trainers coming out to check on her. 85 minutes, Portugal corner kick. Por Portugal header goes wide. 86 minutes, Germany substitutions. Magul and Gwen out. Hegel and Eniomi in. 87 minutes, Hegel fouls. Portugal ball. 88 minutes, Huth to Hagel. Hegel, Hegel attempt goes wide. Germany corner kick. 89th minute, Huth sends it in, headed away. Collision between Brand and a Portugal player. Portugal ball. Eniomi fouls, Portugal ball again. Ball sent into the Germany box, goes wide. Four minutes of added time. At some point, the clock disappeared. <laughs> ball played up for Brand, can't reach it. Freigen crosses, no one there. Goes to the keeper. Huth crosses, caught by the keeper. The clock is still gone, but not much time left. The 94th minute, I'm assuming. Whistle blown, second half ends. Germany wins 3-0. Okay, so this was an alright or an okay match. I'm happy that ger the German team came away with a win. And I'm happy that we got to see Alex Pop back on the field again. And even back in the captain's armband. Not sure if it was planned already, may have been, but it was very sweet of who to give Alex the captain's armband when she came on for Maro. Alex actually had some good touches in this match, and as much as it kills me to say it because I love Maro, Alex actually had better touches than Maro in this match. Besides that though, there's just a lot Germany needs to work on, like what was going on with Germany's defense? In the match against Spain, Germany's defense was solid. But how is it that Portugal is running through the German defense like it was nothing? Actually, more like, <laughs> how is Germany just allowing Portugal to come through? If there was one thing that I was sure of when it came to the German team, it was their defense. But after this match, they have to work on that too. Like, you shouldn't be letting players, like, come right through your defenders. Midfield looked pretty good with Pop, Huth, and Maro as well. But the attack and finishing needs work. Communication needs work, and the players need to be on the same page. Fregen and Brand were very close. They seemed to be able to read each other pretty well when they came on. The rest of the team, or the team as a whole, needs more communication and cohesion. Yes, Germany had the most possession in this match. Yes, they won this match, but I feel as though they could have gotten more goals. Two of the goals came from defenders, Oberdorf and Rausch, which is, which is great because goals are good. It's always good to get goals no matter what player it is. But with such talented and amazing players in the attack in midfield as well, you would be expecting more goals from those attacking players. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. Germany's next match is going to be Tuesday, April 12th against Serbia. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bish beta.